How's the King Fella Sam Motors and this is another episode of Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time and in today's episode we're going to do the same level we did last episode, which is awful. And we're going to do a Cortex route. Yeah, we got about enough time. Seeing double. This level looks already like it's underwater or something. And this is a Cortex level, he's the only other character you get to play as in this chapter. Tana and Dingo Dial kinda leave. I guess you get to see them at the very end. But, the thing is... But the thing is... What is the thing? I won't let me fail. I mean, fail differently. I mean, oh, crash! What I just said that I couldn't fucking put my thoughts together? Man, I got some good memory. Oh yeah, that you can see them at the end. And Cortex, I hate. I don't fucking like it. controls. Even the dude, I feel like this fucking dude I was talking about last episode who reviewed this game, and he had the same complaints I did. Some people say like, oh, it's a good thing, or because this little animation helps you to like mix lands properly. But it's pissing me off so much sometimes. It's just like I expect him to not fucking just land, and he doesn't. I do like how this game also utilizes Cortex's head as a weapon. Remember how in Crash and Sandy Crash uses Cortex like a hammer? Get a flap head. Oh shit. And in this game, Cortex is just like ramps his head into things. Come on, Cortex, you're not like so fucking athlete. Why are you doing this shit? kind of reminds me, for some reason, of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I remember there was a game mode in Sly Cooper Thieves in Time where you played as uh, Cooper the Kid, I think. Which was supposed to be like... And the game went from like a 3D platformer to like a first person shooter. Because Cooper the Kid had a gun. He was my favorite character, but just because of what he looked, he was really cool. But the fact they fucking had a gun in that game? Ridiculous. Overall, I fucking remember that game pretty fondly, but... The thing is, I barely fucking remember that game, actually. Okay. Fucking... Kinda stressful. So these... Platforms seem to be moving, so I gotta find this right. Time it right, or I can just simply fucking jump and hope for the best. Here's an interesting thing you can do: we can instead go backwards and jump over here. Wait, is that a crate? Did I miss like a crate? I did miss the crate, or whatever that I just hit. And there's a gem here, and it's also a way easier route to take. And you can't even shoot the robots. I can understand how you cannot spin into these robots, because they seem to be covered in electricity all the time. So you can't even shoot them. Now that doesn't make sense. Cool, I'm all the way here. This game sure makes me fucking happy. I'm gonna collect everything again. I was watching people's uh, opinions on Mafia 3 DLCs and it seems like they're... they're like decent DLCs, I guess. But nowhere near the quality of like Borderlands DLCs. Yeah, the fuck they said that. I think they're good. What the fuck? Well, speaking of Borderlands, there's a fit. I forgot to mention that a couple of episodes ago already. Uh, they added, there's a 
like a DLC coming out in November. One thing I don't like is that it's part of like Season Pass 2, which I guess I only have Season Pass 1. I'm like, come on, I bought the fucking Super Deluxe Edition for the fucking Season Pass. And I'm glad I did because all the deals that came with it were fucking great. Maybe except the last one, the last one kind of was fucking weird. But all the other ones were fucking awesome. That was like an explosive crate thing. Fucking thing would kill me. And, um... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not even sure if like, things flying around are particles in the game or are these like fucking... Like something in my room? Shit if I know. And they're adding a designer's cut, which is kind of interesting that they are doing something like that. And apparently, they're gonna add a new skill tree for each fucking character. Which sounds pretty cool. Apparently, uh, Flak is gonna have a robot head now. Which doesn't make sense, I thought he would have like a... A bully mong. Or something like that. But you know what, I'd, I'd fucking rather have like a new character entirely to play instead of just having like new... Oh, <laughs> fucking damn it. Instead of having just new... skill trees. Look, Aku Aku still helping Cortex, even though Cortex is evil now. What the fuck, Aku Aku? Fucking trade piece of shit. Fuck, fucking... both sides playing... motherfucker. And, um, and Amara skill is, oh jeez, got the dash. Amara skill seems the coolest out of all her skills. I think Amara was my least like character in Borderlands 3. She just seemed like kind of boring. Had an issue with her because of that. And I didn't play. But her new ability is like she makes an ice orb. That she makes a, that she makes and she like throws around and you can like pull it towards you, you can like God fucking damn, you can pull it towards you, you can like throw it at enemies and it seems like the coolest one out of all of them. God damn it. So I'm honestly kind of interested in that. It's just that it seems like I'll have to buy a new fucking season pass for this shit. And the thing that interests me the most is whether we're going to get more DLCs. I don't know. Skill trees are definitely a cool fucking interesting thing, but... I want more DLCs. Jesus Christ. That was fucking close. And I gotta do this kind of shit? Oh, fuck off. Fuck, I hate this fucking game. Okay. Yeah, I meant to do that. Like, can I do it like this? I can't. This is probably not the way you fucking wanted me to do it. But who the fuck cares? I'm a rebel. A rebel with no cause. I'm just like to break the rules. There are crates. Why is the game not showing me when I break crates? Hold on. I thought the game was doing that. Okay, no. Oh, there's two nitro crates, look. One and two. Why are there two of them? I want to make sure I don't fucking... Ah, oh, fuck off. I hate this shit. And there's a checkpoint there. Alright, I'll stop fucking around. Maybe, I guess I won't. Ah, fuck, this fucking jump. See? I hate Cortex. Look, fuck this fucking game, son of a bitch. I don't wanna get too upset. I hate getting upset. Because when I get upset, I like to fucking scream. But I don't wanna fucking scream, because everyone else in the fucking house is gonna think I'm fucking insane. God damn it. Fucking 
goddamn son of a bitch in game. I kinda wish I could just fucking. I never say that before I say that I wish I could fucking normally go to school. Cause when I fucking sit on these e lessons, it's like. I don't fucking take them like seriously, you know? Like I log on to the fucking meet. And then all I fucking do is just like. Alright, whatever. I fucking cheated my way through. Who the fuck there cares? Must be a way for me to reason with me. And oh, what the fuck? Come on. And I remember that there's like a pattern to the jumps. This fucking jumps. Fuck this shit I gotta pull off. Yeah, I should have should have known this game hates me. Oh fuck. So if you jump twice on that iron crate, but if you get on the first platform really fast and you jump twice on the iron crate you should have it you should have it timed with the platform so it doesn't fucking like disappear before you get a chance to jump on it see one two and you can just hop on that one and the platform should come back all nice Son of a... Wait a minute. Maybe I should for, shoot the one on the right first and then... That makes sense, I guess. One... And two. So you kinda can guess that I played through this point so many fucking times when I first played this game. That I just fucking memorized the pattern for that platform. Look, I just fucking wanna make jumps like a normal person. I don't wanna fucking have to dash everywhere because the dash just sent me flying. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, <laughs> Cortex sucks dick. Jesus fucking Christ. I just, I thought he would make it. I don't know. So these gotta be like big jumps, I don't fucking get up anyway. See, it's like they didn't show up fast enough. I could've dashed, but then I'd probably fucking end up ramming my stupid fucking big yellow head into a fucking nitro crate anyway. Now fuck off with this shit. See? Fuck that. Fucking game. Fucking sucks. Jesus fucking Christ, I love this game. I take everything back. Mean I said about it. I love this game. I kinda wanna play Crash. Oh. What the fuck? Second episode in a row I did that. It's gonna be like a thing. Every episode I get a. One in all, with a life chance to jump on a nitro crate. One in a life chance. I should fucking say that. Alright, look. I got this far. But it seems like I can get on this side for some reason. Why would I fucking go there? I can't reach it. Why can't I be more reasonable like I am? I got a checkpoint, did I get anything? I got a cutscene. 
to those female Ooh. lab assistants now. Masquerade as me, will you? Well, I'm you from the future, you idiot! I, I'm not an idiot! You're the idiot! Idiot! Get him! I don't know, they're not even very intimidating. <laughs> See, maybe this is why he got a bodyguard. So the continuity of Crash is very complicated look. I guess it all begins that Cortex runs into himself. Don't make me help anyone! We have an evil doppelganger situation! I'm not a doppelganger! I'm no, forget it! Sometimes when I see doppelganger being written somewhere it's there. That'll shut me up. It's with like a... Right, say like this was this part wasn't hard enough, clearly. Last time we fucking did it, it was so easy. Like, it's such an easy time doing this. I kinda like I love that it's way harder now. It's great. I fucking god I don't have like tw twenty minutes to do it. I think it's fucking rather fucking go insane that I have to do any of this shit. Alright, I fucked it up. What if I go back? Look, sometimes there's like shit here and if I go back. Can't really can't really go there. But sometimes they have shit hidden in the back and when you change to a different character like that. We're doing a speedrun? No, we're absolutely not doing a speedrun. You know what's one one game that I really want to play and want to add to my fucking let's play list, but for some reason I have a hard time playing it. No, I have a so when I like check my one time I was like going through my achievement lists and I noticed that a long time ago I played VVV F fucking five V's in a row. The game is called it's VVV and. And the game was labeled as both PS Vita and PS4. And I was like, well, that's cool. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What happened to me? Spin around like a madman. Fuck. And. God damn it, I fucking hate this fucking game. And. What I'm trying to say, fuck. But I couldn't, like, get it downloaded on my PS. So is the game not available on PS4? And I also couldn't find it on like a PS store or anything. So I don't think the game's available on PS4. Four. Five, I don't know. About five, but four doesn't seem to be available on. God damn it, you son of a bitch. Oh come on. Can't get fucking crazy properly, you fucking dumb piece of shit. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I got fucked up. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, now I gotta get up there. Um, last episode when I was doing this, I didn't even do it properly. Like some of the parts I just like flew through with a mask. For the help of Aku Aku. And I just flew through it. Instead of like genuinely fucking doing this the way I guess they intended me. Like this. Like fuck that. I don't know how to do it properly. I don't care. Fuck off, I pressed it. What, I pressed it before I even got it? I think that's what happened. Jesus fucking 
Christ. This is all kinds of fucked up, man. This part seems the same. Who the fuck knows what's coming up? This is the same as it was last time, so if we, I guess they figured that this is already fucking hard. And they just put like one more crate here. The music stopped again. These are all weird. It's like not at all fitting for what I'm doing, it just sounds ominous. Oh, what? What happened? I can't even jump on a platform. Ah, oh, fuck. I just lost all my fucking will to do anything properly now. Failure after failure. Shit. Pissing me the fuck off. You know what's pissing me the fuck off? That these fucking E lessons are like. In the evening? Like fucking come on, in the evening I just play video games and watch fucking movies. And I fucking sit and listen to some fucking dumbasses fucking talking. Some of these fucking people in these lessons with them, they don't even seem like they should go to school. They seem to fucking know everything about the fucking subject. Now I missed free. So it seems doable, I don't know. It's kinda of giving me confidence that I can do it. Hey look, I only missed free if I fucking looked up a guide on how to do this. And I got them all properly. I probably would have done it. Coco's skin here is also pretty cool looking. It looks kinda looks like something out of Spyro. Spyro the bitch. Guess we're not going to you know I guess we're not going to find out All the backstory with the VHS tapes, since it doesn't seem like I'm going to finish them. The, I'm gonna make one more episode today, and it seems like it's going to be the final one, and then I don't think I'm gonna fuck it. Maybe, if I feel like it, I would come back and do these things. Overall fitness exam. Sounds fucking weird. Maybe if I feel like it, I'd come back to this. You know, maybe I'd come back to this on my other save file. It'd probably be better if I come back to some other Let's safe see how this one goes. Let's just throw her in there, who cares? <laughs> oh, what am I even doing? Time, Cancel out the dialogue, I wanna hear it. That game takes so long to load. Fucking loaded, come on. Oh yeah, there was some leak about uh, future content for this video. There was some like Christmas hard. outfits. Oh come on, I thought I'd like fucking cheat my way through this one. Like I did all the other ones. What is this music? I think this is Komodo Joe's. Boss fight music. Oh, I made the music that played last episode. I wasn't sure about that one. I think this is come out of Joe's boss fight music. Which makes me want to replay Crash 2. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Is there any way to record uh, footage from PS videos? Because I heard you can do it uh, with a PlayStation TV. But I could not find a single fucking guide on how to properly do it because it's it seems like what you can do with PlayStation TV is you can put PlayStation physical PlayStation Vita games into it and play them on a PS4 and then I guess you can record them but I don't have a single physical game on a PS Vita but I have so many fucking games on a PS Vita and I don't wanna fucking play those
Ah, oh, fucking shit. But... You know, for me to... Oh, I guess I don't know what I can do. Ooh, that was... Well timed. What do I do about the next thing? Two, three, four, five. Uh, again, I just wanna hear what he has to say. Fuck this fucking game, it's fucking annoying. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the. Can I like? Em I don't know what the fuck is PlayStation TV for. But I just like wanted to use it to play my PS Vita game on my PS4. Then I would have to get the fucking Gravity Rush remastered. And I could get. And I could fucking make a Let's Play Golden Abyss. Which is a really good fucking game. But I must say, I outdid myself. I wonder what other, other picks were. Can you explain what the fuck is purpose of Tona Cortex? Like, why did you mutate the girl? Why, she, why did she give big tits? Two, three, four, five. Fucking god damn it. Oh, fuck. Next time, perhaps. Well, it's great to know that Cortex apparently picked out every wooden sound fit. And a cohort, I guess, didn't hit anything against. Why these fucking overalls he picked out for her? Four, five. Now fuck off. Confound it all. Son of a bitch. You know what I wanted to get recently? Um, Fallout Shelter. Yes, I wanted to buy Fallout Shelter. I'd be thinking, what the fuck am I talking about? Fallout Shelter is a free mobile game. Yeah, but I wanted to get the fucking physical version of it. Why? Because it's a board game. And I thought it'd be cool. Oh, fuck. I thought it'd be cool because me and my friends often play board games. And I heard that one was like really good when I followed Shelter. I already like followed Shelter, but I heard the like... What the fuck? I heard that version of it is, is actually really good. Okay. I think that's Komodo Joe's music. You never listen to it very much because it's like fucking boss fight against them is so fucking easy. Okay. This one I might actually try to go for 100%. There's only 99 crates here. Just not much for this game. It seems like it's kind of like there's not many crates for you to go out of your way to get. There's like a fucking crate up there. Well, fuck it anyway. Oh, yeah, I had to. Wait, what? How was I supposed to fucking get up there? I mean, I fucking know how I was supposed to get up there. I was supposed to not destroy the bouncy crate. But shut up, it's fucking difficult. Like, the oh fuck, no. Oh, I didn't hit that, I just hit the box underneath it. Experiment failed. I see. If I'm being honest with you, this game begins to piss me the fuck off. Just begins, I'm not yet pissed off. Just annoyed. That's a good, that's a good feeling, you know? It's like, I always say that it's a sign of a good game when I fucking get 
pissed off at it, but keep doing it. But I keep going. It's a sign of a good game because I'm not like. Look, my overalls. Mother made me those. Oh fuck! How do I get this thing right? Look, more, more. Coke is wearing an embryo sold out. That's the kind of fucking lore I came here for. I bought this game to find that out. Alright, look. If this fucking fails, I'm gonna be mad. Five. Okay. I stopped doing that, come on. Oh wait, I was supposed to get that crit. Oh, who cares? Oh shit. Am I fine? Did I do it? I think I missed one. Yep, that one over there. Fuck it. Marvelous. This was supposed to be an overall fitness experiment and not the origins of Coco's outfit. Next origins of her fucking laptop. I thought maybe he reveals some more shit about you know the other fucking characters, the bosses from the first game, maybe. You know, Papu Papu was never mentioned anywhere in this game. Maybe they would like at least mention him in like one one of those missions. Next episode, we're going to finish the game, and I'm gonna do something more. I wanted, to sh I wanted to show you the bonus levels, the alternative version. Not all of them, of course. I'm not fucking gonna sit here for 10 hours to all the levels. Or all the different variants. But I thought I'd show you, like, one of them at least. So, like, we could, like, replay the first level in a alternative mode. So, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.